Hey there, welcome. Thanks for popping in. This is Michael Carter here, and we're looking at how to increase the sales of any business online. Now, it's no secret that the key to every successful business is to attract more customers. Now, exactly how you go about you know, drawing in a crowd can sometimes remain a mystery if you're a new entrepreneur. Now, rather than worrying about success, okay, I'm going to give you guys 11 proven methods to skyrocket your business and increase your bottom line. So the first one we're looking at is smart advertising. Every business needs to have some kind of advertising budget in order to bring customers in. Now learning to spend your advertising dollar wisely is absolutely the key. Now when you set up your advertising campaigns, you need to track them so you can identify the ones that are actually working and ones that need changing. Now you should always, always, you know, split your budget into a portion to spend on proven ad methods and another portion for experimenting with new advertising methods. Now, a lot of entrepreneurs, they'll find that 20% of their budget is enough to experiment with while the remaining 80% does the job of bringing in their customers. Okay, so these are just some guides, guidelines to follow. So the second one are shorter ads. Now, longer, um, you know, in detailed ads, they're not always more effective when trying to make sales. In some cases, shorter ads get more attention and draw in more of a crowd. Now, reduce the length of your ads and run the shorter ones more frequently. Remember to keep track of the results so that you'll know how to run your ads in the future. It'll save you a ton of time. Uh, number three, tweak your ads. Okay, you need to take a really serious look at your current ads. Now, you wanna make sure that they are jam-packed with action phrases. Now, if they aren't exciting, you know, the, custom, uh, the customers aren't gonna like it, right? The, the, you need to change them, okay? Try phrases like, you know, it's as easy as one, two, three, you know, hurry, don't miss out, uh, save, 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 act now. Okay, the idea is to stimulate them to take some sort of action. So number four, the warm fuzzy. <laughs> now a lot of people will buy a product based on how it's gonna make them feel when they purchase it. Now when people buy a new car, they usually get you know, super excited about it, they feel pride, they can't wait to show it off to the world. And you know, try to keep those feelings in mind while you're writing your ad so you can try to stimulate those feelings in your customers. So number five, uh, sending postcards. Now, along with running your online ad campaigns, you should also try sending out postcards. Now, unlike other types of uh, postal advertising, postcards are short and very easily digested. When people receive postcards, they'll look at them to see you know, what they're about within a few seconds and they'll see the whole advertisement right there. Now, make sure that your message is clear and concise and there is a clear call to action. Uh, so number six, reward word of mouth. Your customers that you have are the best advertisers. Now, the more people that make purchases based on you know, the word from current customers, the better. Now, in order to encourage your customers to spread your message through word of mouth, institute a rewards program for referrals and watch your sales come rolling in. So number seven, say thanks. Really simple, right? You know, you know, it only takes a moment to say thank you to your customers. It goes a long way toward earning their respect. Now, by simply sending a thank you note after a purchase, you can create a loyal customer for life. Everyone likes to be appreciated, especially your customers. Don't ever overlook that. Uh, number eight, sell to current customers. Now, a lot of business owners, they spend the majority of their time marketing to you know, new customers. Don't forget to market to your current customers. They are more likely to make additional purchases while they're in that buying mood. Now, in fact, it's much easier to sell additional items to current customers than it is to go and acquire new ones. Okay, number nine, special package deals. Now, everybody loves to get a good deal when they're making a purchase. Now, in order to increase sales, try going about and combining maybe several related items together and call it a package deal. Now, when people feel they're saving money, 
they're always more willing to spend money. Now, if you put a deadline on the package deal, people will quickly purchase it to prevent missing out on the deal. This really works well. Number 10, surprise customers who purchase. Wow, imagine that. <laughs> imagine, could you actually surprise your customers? You know, many times when people make a purchase online, they might second guess themselves and wonder if they got a good deal. One way to help people feel good about their purchase and to prevent buyer's remorse is to give your customers a surprise at the register. Now, be sure to give your customers, you know, obviously something of value so they'll be pleasantly surprised about what they're getting. All right, so number 11, mention the losses. Now, when you make purchases in life, okay, we usually focus on the positive things that will be gained by making that purchase. Now, you know, share the negative results of what customers will experience if they don't make the purchase, okay? Tell them how much of a savings they are passing up by not purchasing. Let them know that they'll be forced to pay more after that deal is gone, okay? This stuff, again, really works well. So that's about it. Now, if you are ready to uh, start using that, these techniques for increasing your sales, you know, which one of these would you guys try first? It's entirely up to you. Now, if you find yourself uh, struggling with sales, um, implement some of these tips and watch your sales start to skyrocket. Remember, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Michael Carter. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.